Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm here um, with Stash Busting with the lovely Rachel and I. We are going to be making embellishments in this. So we've got to make a minimum of 10 embellishments. Um, and we're to use lace because I just love losing <laughs> lace. So although my lace supply is running low, would you believe? Um, I think I'm going to use it up and then after Christmas I'm going to go to lay spending spray. Anyway, um, I picked out a few bits from my stash. So I've got this gorgeous lace ribbon here, so in white. And then I've got this trim one which I really, really like and I thought it would be really nice. Got that, that one from Paper Chase, I can't remember where that one came from. Um, so I'm going to use that and then I've got a little bit of this black lace left with the fringe on. I do have um, two big massive reels of black lace. So black lace I, I'm not running out of because um, I've got them for the card kits. Um, and then I've got this gorgeous purple, like a grey purple ribbon, lilac ribbon. Absolutely beautiful. Um, well lace, sorry. Um, then we have a floral which is big flowers. I'm just wondering why my camera's so far forward. Um, yeah, the, is this a flower lace? So we're going to use that. And then I've got this leaf lace as well. I've only got a little bit left of that. So we're going to use that. Um, I'm going to use, because as I said in previous stash busting with uh, Don and Rachel, I'm going to use my love from Lizzie Paper Collection. Um, this is going to annoy me because I'm looking up at the camera and... I'm not in view at all. Hang on. Perfect. Right, we're in view. Um, that was just going to annoy me. Well, it was annoying me. So I'm only using Love From Lizzie Papers because this is what I really want to use up and get them done. Now, we're going to make these today. Um, I've got all sorts in here. Sorry, I'm just looking. Um, we're going to make these today, these embellishments today, and then we're going to use them next month. So uh, if you're not already a subscriber to myself and to our lovely Rachel, do subscribe because then you'll see what we get to do with these. And then in here is just my bit box, which I would like to use. I'm not going to bring anything else in. This is stash busting, so I'm literally using just these things on the table. I am going to go through now and have a look at bases so I'm definitely going to use those as bases I wasn't very keen on that paper pad um, yeah I found that one quite hard if I remember rightly most of the others I absolutely love so I'm thinking that any of the paper pad that I've got left of the the marbled I'm going to use them as my base if not I'll, can you hear the seagulls um, if not, we'll use something else. Now, do that again. There we go. I'm going to take that out because I can cut that up and use that as embellishments on top of the lace and things. Oh, is that another one? Yeah. That is gorgeous. I'm liking it, liking it. Right. Um, okay. I really do. I should, I should really sort these out, but... Um, right, I think that might be the last one of that paper, which is excellent. So I have managed to use it up. Now, the thing with kits is you're not always going to like everything. Um, so, yeah, right. Um, let's have a look. Oh, I've got some bits in that. Do you know what? Let's just use that one. Move them out the way. Um, because I've got some more bits there and then we've got this paper pad as well uh, oh definitely right so that recipe one that can be a base because we're not going to actually use it as recipes uh, just having a look to see if there's anything else in there that I'm not now we need to make 10 so basically I'm going to do this in the style of my clusters that I do oh I like them and I think I'm going to use that one as well as a base and maybe that one um so I'm going to do it in the style of my clusters like I, so if you haven't watched my channel before or seen any of my videos I love making clusters now clusters is just um it's like it's basically what it is it's just a cluster of things together so 
I basically all I do I love to tear very rarely do I um, get my scissors out but I want these to be quite large so I'm gonna do it this one really large so this is my base I always have a base so there's the base I then come in with some lace. Um, I've just realised we haven't got... It. Right, now, I cannot use these with paper because these are my fabric scissors. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to put some lace on. I'm going to have a look to see if there's anything else I want to put on. And I'm thinking that this trim would look really nice just along that bottom edge. So we're going to do that. Okay, so that's going to go along there. I need to turn my glue gun on. Um, let's have one of these flowers okay and then what I'm then going to do is oh I like that we're going to then just we're just building it up now normally I would just stick as I go but I haven't got my glue gun out because I've just realized that I'm going to need it um, let's have a look don't want one of them ones and then we're going oh no don't use those down don't do it you silly silly woman right never use your fabric scissors on paper right um i use this one these used to be fabric scissors and then i used them on paper and destroyed them so i bought myself a nice brand new pair so i need to make sure i don't so this says let us come alive to the splendour that is all around us and see the beauty in ordinary things. Thomas Merton. And then that is going to just sit on there like that. And then that is my first cluster or embellishment. So that's basically what we're going to do. So I'm going to go and grab all my glue sticks and everything else that I need. I'm also going to finish off my coffee because uh, my coffee's there. And then we're going to come back and we're going to make another nine of them. So... I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back. I have my glue sticks, glue gun. More importantly, I have my coffee, which, um, yeah, I've already drank half of it um, while I was getting the bits and pieces together. But it is my first one of the day, and it is delicious. Right, okay, so that is our first one. Might have a look in here, actually. Uh, to see if there's anything else that maybe oh I like that one for one um actually oh, I really do need to find where I put everything I tidied up before I went on holiday and my fussy cutting scissors I put down again honestly one day I think the problem I've got is in my last craft room I could have everything in front of me so everything was set out where um, I could just easily grab because I'm now in the center of my room I like to keep my desk clean so I'm constantly taking it off oh yeah I quite like that but I might try the pink one instead so let's quickly cut that out while my glue gun is do need to put something under that glue gun because I've got some mats just to cover my area when I'm doing mixed media because it's really really bad now uh, just so the background's a bit nicer for you guys I know you guys don't care but um, I do <laughs> right I'm gonna put that down because it is actually broken might not be the best thing to put down but Oh yeah, I like the pink one better. Right, okay. So I think that is what we're going to do with this one. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that one as is. Okay, so we need to start and glue all of this down. So I'm just going to move these bits off. Leave that there. <clears throat> because I'm just going to use... What you can tell I left my glue gun on. I'm going to use that bit to keep, uh, stick that lace down. Um, let's pop. I need to get some more glue sticks as well. I bought about a thousand of them, I think I bought. Um, I found, this is it. This is all I've got left. So I need to finally struggle because I use my glue gun a lot. But that has lasted me about a year. So please don't think that I've used that many in 
you know, in such a short space of time. Actually, I would say it's been about two years um, since I bought them. I was in the old craft room, so yeah. Okay, yeah, you can definitely tell I left that on at some point. Okay, and then the last bit is this. Now, it should go nice and smoothly now. Um, oh, I love that. I love that. So there we go. There's my first embellishment. So it really is just a matter of um, yeah, having fun and layering. You know, it's basically collage is what we're doing. And we're just having fun. Now, I really want to use one of these. Um, and I really like this one. I like Hello Friend. So we're going to use that. Now, my, um, I'm going to call her Barbara because she will go off if I say her proper name. Um, it's going to go off to remind me to go and check my stew <laughs> because we're, we're having beef stew for tea tonight, which I'm really excited about. I haven't had beef stew in quite a while. Right, I'm just going to cut a few bits of this lace and I want, I think, some of these leaves as well. So I'm just going to cut this down. So I have an idea. Now, by the looks of it, I don't think I'm going to use much out of my bit box. I think it's going to end up being stash busting these, um, the Love From Lizzie papers. And that's one thing that both um, Rachel and I really want to do this year, is to actually stash bust um, Love From Lizzie kits, because we both subscribed. Um, because I'm thinking of cancelling my subscription. Um, so, yeah. And we both said, instead of them just sat on the shelf, we need to actually use them. So that's what we're going to do. And that's where this sort of came about. Right. I'm just going to... Actually, I want to turn it the other way around. So just like that. Now, what I want to do... Oh, yeah. It's coming out. Of course it is. I need to remember, I need to turn this off um, when it starts bubbling. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a little dollop there. Just keep that in place and there. And I am going to turn it off in a minute because it is starting to bubble. Um, and somebody said, why don't I turn it off when it starts to get too hot? Because it really scary when it gets too hot and I've been doing it every ever since I can't remember who it was though I wish I could because I'd love to give them credit again because it was a really good idea okay now I'm going to use these and try not to burn myself okay so, just there now I want to see we do have Oh, that flower actually goes lovely. It's like that was meant to be. So. Oh, I'm pleased with that. And we've got this purple ball, which I think is just going to distract from it. And I was right. Um, the, do, it does need something else, but I'm not quite sure yet what. Um... No, not liking it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to stick that in there like that. And then... Bring this one in. Okay, so that one there. And I need one more. Please tell me I have one more because really I shouldn't have stuck that down. Unless I was absolutely sure I had. I do have another one. Thank goodness for that. Um, and I'm going to have that one as well. Okay. Oh, I like that. I really like that. I love those lace. Right. I did try, Yes, I did cut one out. So let me just tidy this one up okay like this okay and then I'm just going to 
set that down just there like that and there we have my second cluster well embellishment all done i love that i love that foil so that's our second one all done okay i'm really glad i put that there now move them so don't use them okay right so let's do another one so the like i said the aim is that we do 10 of these um embellishments and then we are going to use them next month but i think what i'm going to do because i'm just going to keep on repeating what i'm doing i'm going to do this with you guys um this one and then i'm going to pop you on speed up just because this video is going to be super long um because i might i might just keep going until um until it's all like all my lace has gone which is something i like to do we are stash busting um oh i like that so that like that with that that's showing um oh i like it i really like it oh i've got that oh i might use that in one um yeah oh i've got a whole flower no i'm liking that so i'm gonna turn this back on because yep and what i'm gonna do Oh. Let's glue these bits down just like that. Okay, it's gone quite cold now. With my glue gun, so it's not coming out as as fast. But we're gonna get there. Okay, that's gonna sit under there. Just like how that peeks through. Okay, and then I'm doing this upside down, which is probably not the best way to do it, but there we go. I like it. Oh, I do like the idea of the line, of uh, Sammy the Lion being used. I don't lose your present to the past I, like, I do like that i really really like oh i found this this gold foiled flower and i think it was just waiting to be put onto this project there we go yeah oh doesn't that look beautiful right okay let's pop you on speed up guys and um yeah i will come back and we'll have a look at them in slow-mo at the end um when i'm all done so let's see how many i make
right okay we are all finished um I definitely made more than 10 so let's have a look let's see them so I'm just going to move them up to the side I've had so much fun with this I love making these so these are the ones that we did on camera together I think we made three didn't we yes um so those are the ones that we made on camera and then I love that one it's so simple but I think it works beautifully um that one really did not need much at all when I stuck it down I'm thinking it just needs something um, and that little bow, I just love it. Uh, we did use all the purple lace, all the black lace and the polka dot um, trim and all of the flowers. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, I'm loving what I have created. Um, I mean, my mission, our mission is to use our stash. So I think, you know, I'm feeling really good in the fact that I have managed to use up two bits, three bits of lace. Um, and a ribbon so I'm really really happy with that I love that one absolutely love it hoping you can still see as I'm putting them out um, some of them don't have um, sentiments on I'll put sentiments on when we come to use them which will be next month so do subscribe and hit that notification bell on both mine and um, our lovely Rachel at Blue Jane Creations uh, subscribe button um, and then you'll get to see what we're going to do with all of these. I'm just waiting for my heat gun to cool down. So, so I just have it just hung. There we go. Makes it look a bit tidier when I don't have the, the glue gun there. So if I just move these over, you guys can get to see them. Um, how many did I make? We made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I made 24 embellishments. So please do go over and check out our lovely Rachel. I am loving seeing her stash busting. She is amazing. Look at this. This is how much I was really enjoying myself. I forgot to drink my coffee. Um, so do go and check her out. Let's have a look, see what she's done. Um, I cannot wait because we've got completely different styles. And I love it. I love that we can, you know, do the same challenges but come out with something different. Um, I will see you guys in the stash busting for next month where we're going to use all of these to create some wonderful goodies. But until then, please do take care and until next time, happy crafting. Bye.